Assalamu alaikum welcome to today's standard IS 23 boring cost again a short standard easy to understand nothing more complex okay and IS 23 also it comes frequently right so as the name suggests boring cost that means when you are borrowing you need to know which cost will be capitalized which cost will be expense and when to recognize it and what are the disclosure these are the few areas we are going to go through in IS 23 not in so much of depth so what is the definition they are defined as any interest or other cost that, I, that an entity incurs in connection with the borrowing of fund. So when you are borrowing, relating to that you might have to charge interest. And also some other costs relating to that borrowing. Then, it, then those costs are also defined as borrowing costs. It is not only the amount of the loan that is known as borrowing costs. Also the interest with it and also the other cost. So they, they are known as borrowing costs. When do you recognize it? Borrowing cost should be capitalized if they relate to the accusation, construction, or uh, production of a qualifying asset. You have to remember this one. That three cost needs to be capitalized. When you acquire, how much you have acquired that asset? Let's say your accusation. You have acquired an asset by uh, with the cost of one million. And also, for the cost to construct an asset or produce a qualifying asset some cost will be given to you okay they will tell you that this is the cost of acquisition or construction or production of a qualifying asset all the three separate costs you need to add and together one cost that is known as borrowing cost okay what is a qualifying asset is 23 defines a qualifying asset as one that takes a substantial period of time to get ready for its intended use or sale it will take a long amount qualifying asset means one that takes a substantial period of time to get ready for its intended use or sell. To, to make use of that asset or even to sell that asset, it will take a long period of time to get into that condition and uh, this one. That is known as qualifying asset. Substantial period of time to get ready. Okay, what is capitalization period? You should know the period of capitalization. So borrowing cost should only be capitalized when construction is in progress not when construction has already happened and then there are the costs coming out no while the construction is in progress that time only the borrowing cost should be capitalized okay so is 23 stipulates that capitalization of borrowing cost should commence when all of the following applies you have to know this rule all the three what is it when should you start capitalizing the borrowing cost? When all of the following commences or starts. You should see as soon as the expenditure for the asset is being incurred or the borrowing costs are being incurred or let's say the borrowing cost you have borrowed, a, borrowed it let's say on 1st of Jan 2001, right? relating to an asset you have borrowed so the borrowing cost is this 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 they will give you some cost from that day onwards you have to capitalize it or the expenditure has been mentioned that the expenditure for this asset is being incurred or activities okay all following should apply okay when all of the following that means not just one of it all three should apply should be there when the borrowing cost has incurred expenditure there's an expenditure for that asset and also the activities that are necessary to get the asset ready for use are in progress. It's still in progress. It's not completed. Neither you cannot say that it did not start yet. If it has not yet started, you cannot capitalize the borrowing cost. It should have been started, but it's in the progress. Okay. You are getting the asset ready for use. You are taking all the things, the equipments, instruments, and you are working on the asset. It is still not yet ready all the activities you are doing so so that will be capitalized as borrowing cost okay capitalization of borrowing cost should cease you should also know when it when it ceases when you should when you cannot capitalize when does it stop when substantially all of the activities that are necessary to get the asset ready for use are complete when it is completed as it is already ready no activities is needed anything 
okay no more activities are needed to get that asset ready it is already now done complete then you don't capitalize okay another thing capitalization of borrowing curve should be suspended okay this is not entirely ceased it is just suspended for a period of time during extended periods in which activity development is interrupted active development maybe one month for two months there is no work happening it is being resources are being lying idle right or maybe the machines are not working for a short period of time so so during that time whatever the cost is there you cannot capitalize capitalize it as borrowing cost it is just suspended later again when it is started again you start capitalizing those costs specific and general borrowings you should know the specific and the general borrowings where a loan is taken out specifically specific means it's very specific okay specifically to finance the construction of an asset is 23 says that the amount to be capitalized is the interest payable on that loan less income earned on the temporary investment of the borrowing what is the amount to be capitalized if it is specific borrowing okay this is for specific then any interest payable that will be taken as capitalized on that loan less income earned on the temporary investment of the borrowing let's say you are getting some investment on that borrowing temporary okay so whatever the income you are receiving it will be deducted okay so it's like interest uh, payable minus income out temporary investment only that is capitalized but if it is general then if the borrowings are general if the construction of a qualifying asset is financed from an entity's general borrowing, the borrowing cost eligible to be capitalized are determined by applying the weighted average general borrowing rate to the expenditure incurred on the asset. You apply a weightage to that if it is general, okay, in order to capitalize the borrowing cost. Weighted average general borrowing rate. To the expenditure incurred on the cost okay so whatever the expenditure you have incurred you apply the percentage the borrowing rate on that we will definitely have a question for both of this when it is specific versus when it is general we'll do a question and the revision gets on disclosure what are the two disclosure one is capitalization rate what is it and the other one is value of borrowing cost capitalized during the period okay not all costs are capitalized that's why it needs to be disclosed that what are the costs which have been capitalized as borrowing cost okay so you need to disclose this too now there is only one test understanding for that borrowing cost which is test understanding three so let us read test understanding three on 1st of jan 2001 okay High rise obtained planning permission to build a new office building. Construction commenced on 1st of March 2001. You obtained planning permission when? 1st of Jan. And it commenced on 1st of Jan. Construction commenced. That means construction started on 1st of March. To help fund the cost of this building, a loan of 5 million was taken out from the bank on 1st of April 2001. It was 5 million and it was taken on 1st of April 2001. Interest rate was 10%. Construction of the building ceased during the month of July due to an unexpected shortage of labors and material. Right? It ceased for the month of July. One month it was ceased. By 31st December 2001, the building was not complete. Cost incurred to the date was 12 million. Excluding the interest on the loan, they didn't take the interest. Discuss the complete treatment of the work in the financial statements of H rise for the year under 31st December 2001. Okay. Since this is in chapter, so all the standards are there. There are more standards to this. So we have to go. Right. Test understanding three. Okay. 
An entity must capitalize borrowing costs that are directly attributable to the production of a qualifying asset. The new office building is qualifying asset because it takes a substantial bit of time to get ready for its intended use, right? New office building is a qualifying asset. It will take a lot of time for it to get ready. So they should start capitalizing borrowing costs when all of the following conditions have been met. When did they incur the expenditure on the asset? 1st of March 2001. Borrowing cost 1st of April. Undertake activity necessary to prepare for the asset 1st of January 2001. Okay. So capitalization of borrowing cost should therefore commence on 1st of April 2001 from this date onwards. Because they have incurred it on 1st of April. Okay. And capitalization ceased for the month of July. That means one month it will not be there. Because there, there was no active development. So in total eight. So if you start from April to December, there are nine months. One month it is ceased. So out of nine now only eight months. So in total eight months worth of borrowing costs should be capitalized in the year ended. Only eight months of the cost should be capitalized. So what is the total borrowing cost to be capitalized? It will be 5 million. This is the amount of the loan into 10%. This is the rate into 8 months only. So this will be the total amount that has to be capitalized. And this will be added to where? Cost of the building. Remember, it will be added to the cost of the building. Borrowing cost. Okay. Giving a carrying amount of this. Okay. As at 31st December 2001, the building is not ready for use, so no depreciation charge. Since the building is not ready for use, you cannot depreciate it according to IS 16. So no depreciation is charged. But if the building was ready for use from that day onwards, remember on this 12, 333333, you have to charge depreciation also. Okay. So that's it for IS 23. See you in the next channel. Till then, take care.